Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, the Board of Adjustment meeting is called to order at 5.31 p.m. Uh, Mr. Squire is excused this evening. Um, we have a an alternate in. Would you introduce yourself, please, sir? Good evening, Rick Lopez. Thank you. Uh, we do have a quorum present. The consent agenda this evening is uh, approval of the Board of Adjustment meeting October 25th. Is there a motion? Is there a second? It's been made and seconded. All in favor of approval? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you, Aye. Mr. Uh, Justin. Did you vote? Aye. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, for the record, um, item number two, I'm sorry, item number on your agenda number four, which is the wall at 101 Hibiscus, the applicant has asked for a postponement until next month uh, to rework their application. And if there's no objection from the board, that, that request is granted. Is there any objection from any board member? Thank you very much. It is postponed till next month. Um, item number three, public hearing and discussion, possible action on application for a variance. That's wrong. I've got the wrong agenda. Oh, I've got last month's agenda. Thank you. The next agenda is item is for Bob and Ellen Sims for a modification. Thank you. No, sir. Okay. Um, a public hearing to discuss possible action on an application for a variance from Ellen Sims for a fence in the backyard higher than eight feet limit on a property located at 108 Lou Grand Court. Um, contrary to section 50 66, fences, side and rear fences may not be higher than eight feet. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Sims, would you like to come up, please, and present to the board? I'm Bob Sims, and uh, my wife, Ellen, and we live at 108 La Ruan Court. Bob, would you mind taking your mask off just while you speak, please? Thank you. Yes, that's better. Uh, we're asking for a fence file due, due to the security issues that happen behind our house. We have a house that uh, borders up to commercial property on the other side. Uh, that borders behind us, and it's only it's the only place on the on the in our subdivision that has a commercial property right behind their house. Our house, uh, it was changed owners, and the new owner decided to put in a take down the shrubs and the trees that were behind our, on the other side of our fence. And it's all a blacktop parking lot with a little picnic area and uh, easy access to the back side of our fence and climbing over since it's only about six feet tall. Uh, I have the application that y'all have in front of you also. I'll just flip through that real quick. Next slide, please. Okay, that's the uh, plot. And where the yellow line is on your plan is where the commercial property is. And we're asking to do the fence right on the back side. Next slide, please. This is looking from, I'll show you in a second, looking down and around down the side of our house. And you'll see that the stone fence on the right goes all the way, you can't see it, but it goes all the way around our subdivision. All of the other houses have fences that are separating. Next slide. That picture was taken from down at the end, looking back down the situation. Next slide. That's inside our backyard. And on the right where the stone wall is, is where the commercial property is. The next slide. That's our, again, looking at, at the commercial property from the back of our house. Next slide. This is what's behind there. You've got a little picnic area, you can see the excuse me, the blacktop cars parked there and I'll show you in a second. And then you can see the picnic table in the background there. And then that's our residence that's, that you're looking at there. Next slide. 
just next slide. And then that's the picture of our of our house. I mean, of the fence that we're proposing just to add to the top of that fence. It will be a separate entity, not part of the stone fence. It'll be in our yard, but three feet higher, roughly three feet higher. But it will provide the necessary security. And I don't know what happened in one slide, it's not there, that uh, I had that shows cars parked up on right next to the back of the fence, where all you have to do is step on their bumper and then step up on the top of our fence. So it's uh, very much of a security issue now. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Middleman, could you step up and could we put that last slide back up, please, to propose that one? Barry, thank you very much, Bob. Barry, you're, you're very acquainted with the way this is being done. Would you explain to the board um, how you're proposing this? By the way, as a, as a point of reference on the security issue, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw the truck that was parked, the uh, somebody can sit in the truck and look straight into their living room. Um, also, this was not there when the walls and the house was built. That was a, a resident area. When it became commercial, they paved the backyard, which in Castle Hills they're allowed to do. So it put a parking lot literally at their backyard with, with no setback. Mr. Middleman, would you explain the construction, please? Yes, I'm, I'm Barry Middleman. I, uh, there was a ballet studio uh, b behind their house where, you know, people would just drop their children off and pick them up. But now with the new business, they've paved for a parking lot in the back and there's been noise. I live next door to the Sims and there's been a lot of noise generated because they seem to use that picnic table and they seem to party in the, uh, many of the evenings. And uh, it's really disturbing to, to them and to the neighborhood. And, and uh, I don't feel like they have real safety with just a six foot wall. I prepared this sketch for them. That yellow line is, is showing the top of the wall the current stone wall and that uh, because of that wall it's it's six feet high is the current wall and because that wall slopes with their grades in order to make it look proper uh we started the uh the wall at the high at the high end of their yard at at nine feet and uh, since their wall and their site slopes in order to make it look presentable, we wanted to level that wall. So it's, it may be a little higher at the, at the far end where it's sloping down and we're keeping the, the fence level. And we thought it would be uh, uh, desirable not to actually put our fence or put their fence uh, on top of the wall um, it would, I think, affect the integrity of the existing stone wall. So these are four by four posts uh, with uh, uh, wood planks run in a horizontal uh, way and think it'll be uh, aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, it'll prevent them from being able to see into their house or get over the fence and, and uh, from a security standpoint, we all thought it was very, very reasonable and uh, something that uh, uh, made th this sort of a hybrid uh, situation, uh, which gave them uh, the opportunity to come and, and present tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Middleman. Um, is there anyone else in the public that wishes to speak on this? No, sir, not yet. <laughs> it is uh, 540. The public hearing is officially closed. I need a motion from the board of some sort so we can discuss this. You'd like to move acceptance. Thank you. Is there a second? It's seconded by Ms. Olivares. Um, yes, sir, you can go with your questions now. I have a couple of questions, sir. Um, when you talk about security, um, are you having an issue like people... We haven't had anybody come over the fence that we're aware of. Uh, okay. But they have. We have found things sitting on top of the fence, like maybe they're using it as a 
a, a part of their playground, if you will. But you can see from the slide, the cars pull right up to the edge there and you can just step on it, step on their hood over the fence like that. And, and what kind of business is running there? Is it a so daycare what, or something? No, now it's a, it's a beauty shop. So a what now? A beauty shop. Okay. So they come and go, uh, you know, quite a bit and in, on into the evening. I don't know. I think she closes, must close around seven o'clock or so. And how high is the current fence right now? Six feet. Six feet. And it's the new one is going to be eight? No, the new one is going to be nine at the start. And then as it goes, could you go to that last slide? Yeah. If you're looking at this, imagine looking from the back of my house. Mm -hmm. the, the, the hashed area on the bottom is this existing six foot stone fence. Okay. okay. Well, it's more of a wall that goes around the subdivision and everybody has that all the way around their house. Okay. Then we're going to put the post like that and then start starting this, imagine this, and then we'll starting our fence right here, just okay. slightly below the edge so that you, it looks like a, uh, well, it's, it's a double fence. Who owns the, the stone fence that's there now? It's a good question. Uh, that's really a good question because we had part of it fall during the, the freeze last year and uh, we never determined who who uh, fixed it. I, I paid for part of the little part on my side that the throat that fell in, uh, but nobody was ever determined as to who, who actually owns the wall. That was built with the subdivision. Okay, and then the, the new fence is going to be inside the stone wall. It's going to be inside in our yard and it'll start just slightly below this so that so that it'll look nice on this side too. And then on the other side, you'll see the, the nice horizontal planks. I don't know if, you, if you're familiar, but if, at the corner of Military and Lemonwood. Yes, sir. There's a real beautiful fence on the corner house there. And that's what we anticipate ours looking like. Okay, that was all that I had. Thank you. A, a quick clarification on something. It's my understanding that your property in that entire subdivision is the only property that backs up to Northwest Military Highway Commercial. That's correct. Thank you. Cassidy, do you have any questions? Thank you. Do you have any questions, sir? It looks like about the only people that can see that fence that you're proposing is you and the commercial property. I mean, your neighbors can maybe glance at it, but it's it's not on display, if you will. I doubt Barry, and Barry's the next door neighbor. I doubt that he could see right. it. And the next door neighbor on the other side is so set so far forward on the other side of the cul-de-sac uh, that there's no, I don't think they could see anything, but maybe a couple of posts, okay. a post and a little bit of a unit. Okay. It's not going to be distracted for anybody. Right. That's all I have. Thank you. Justin, do you have any questions or comments? I don't have any. I do not have any questions or comments. Thank you very much. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Uh, there's a motion been made. It's been seconded. All in favor? All right. Justin. Aye. Thank you. It is unanimous. It is it is uh, passed. Chairman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, being yes, sir. Real quick, I just want to let them know the next steps, obviously, to um, submit a permit with the rendering. And then you'll have a letter from myself being that the variance has been approved. Perfect. That's just the next step for the permit process and review. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much, members of the board, for your attendance and your diligence. Being no further business in front of uh, the Board of Adjustment, this meeting is adjourned.